Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. In this video I'm going to show you how to check if number is even or odd in assembly language. Again, link of this online emulator is down below in the description. Before building program that will check if number is even or odd, we first need to understand what is logical shift to the left and logical shift to the right. But even before logical shift to the left and logical shift to the right, you need to know that any binary number, for example, this number it is 5 in decimal, can be also written with infinite uh, number of zeros after it. And this is the same number. It's not just in binary system, it is also in any other system. For example, it is 35 in decimal system. You can also write it like this. It's again the same number. With logical shift to the left, you move all digits by one place to the left. So, this uh, five in, number 5 in binary after logical shift to the left will be this number and this is number 10 in decimal let's do it for some other number for example 6 it is this number and after logical shift to the left it is this number and this is 12 in decimal number system so, this is number 5, after logical shift to the left, it is 10. This is number 6, after logical shift to the left, is 12. So, as you can see, when you do logical shift to the left, you multiply number by 2. And, with logical shift to the right, you, you do opposite, you divide number by 2. So, let it be number 10. When you do logical shift to the right, you just move all digits to the right. So it will be, and this is 5. Let's try this here. So I will move in R0 value of 10, and I will then do logical shift to the right. In register 0 and I need to specify how many places I will move left or right, in this case right. You can also move more than one spaces, but in this case I would just do go one place to the right. So let's run this program. I move 10 to the R0 and after logical shift to the right, uh, it is 5, so I do, it's just like I divided 10 with 2, it is 5. But what if uh, in R0 is odd number? What will happen when we divide odd number by 2? Let's try this. For example, let it be 9. We store 9 in R0, and after logical shift to the right, it is 4. So, it is like division with 2, without reminder. It is like dividing integer numbers. Okay, let's now check if number is even or odd, with logical shift to the left and logical shift to the right. Let me show you how I will do that. In R0, I will store some number example 7. I need to move. In register R1, I will move value from R0. Then I will do logical shift to the right of R1 by one place, and then I will do logical shift to the left in R1 also by one place. 
and now I will run this code so it is 7 in R0 I move that value also in R1 and then I do logical shift to the right and logical shift to the to the left it will be 3 and then 6 so we can see that uh, after we done logical shift to the right and logical shift to the left if number is odd it is not equal to that number before those logical shifts and if number is even let it be for example 8 8 is stored in R0 and R1. In the R1 it is first done logical shift to the right and then logical shift to the left and, and after those logical shifts uh, the, those numbers are same. So when numbers are same it is even number and when numbers are not equal the number is odd. Okay, let's now build program that will add all even numbers in R8 register and all odd numbers in R9 register. I will also use switches to read values from that. I will load address of switches in register R0. This is that, that address in hexadecimal value it is ff two three zeros four zero and i will load value of switches into the register r1 so it is value of r0 those switches are basically representation of binary number if it's unchecked it is zero and if it's checked it is one so this is uh, number 4 in decimal number system. And let's check does it work. So if, it's work, if it works in a register R1, it should be value of 4. Let's run this program. It is address of switches and it is 4 stored in R1 so it works. I can move this code in the loop branch. I will call it loop. So it will do that and then we will move value from a register R1 to register R2. Then we will do logical shift to the right with R2 for one place and then logical shift to the left again with R2 by one place and then we will compare R1 and R2 branch equal we will then move to the even branch and in even branch, as I said, uh, we will add add uh, even numbers in register R8. So add R8, R8 with R1. And then we will move back to the loop branch. And if number is odd, we will move to the branch odd. And there we will add that number in register R9. As I said, in R8 we add even numbers and in R9 odd numbers. And again, we will move to the loop branch. This is going to be infinite loop. And let's now try this code. So it is 4. After 
logical shifts it is again 4 so it is even number and we will add that even number in R8 now I will try some odd number so this is 8 and this is 9 so it is 9 after two logical shifts it is 8 so they are not equal so we will move to the odd uh, odd branch and we will add that number in R9 let's do some another number it is 11 they are not equal again the, it will be added to the register R9 this is all for this video if you like this video don't forget to press like button and subscribe and see you next time